Ah yes, our engine assembly bench looks a bit of a mess, but it's because we're nearing the end of a uh, phase of the assembly here. Let's show our latest developments here real quick. I've shown cam timing as has everybody else. Uh, there's enough videos out there of that. We set our cam, uh, our scatter pattern race cam from our friends at MED. 101 degrees on the intake, 105 degrees on the exhaust. We verified where uh, we've advanced one notch on our seven position uh, roll master timing set. And timing has been set. I haven't put the lock tab in yet, just installed. Show one quick trick here. This is, there's a shim behind here, of course. The straight edge trick. Razor blade, pretty straight usually. Straight across. We have got some nice alignment going on there. But our latest trick, notice through this open camshaft sprocket. A little hole there. We've uh, dealt with for many years, as have many of you, the, uh, well, let's just call it what it is, it's an annoying setup with this vent canister on the timing cover crowding your pulleys. You end up using one of these, maybe a few of these, um, and what happens is your fan is uh, too close to the radiator. This car, literally, you could not fit the belt, the fan belt, between the radiator and the fan when it was shimmed out just to clear this. You know, all minis go together different and we, we made a workaround as we've shown. But we're going to replace all of this, the A-plus timing cover. We're not using a tensioner, of course that would change things. But um, our mod is still possible with the available 998 covers that don't have this can. So all of that with this irritating can gets replaced with the very clean early style oval setup um, nothing to interfere nothing to force the fan out and the way we did it quarter pipe this plate is a hundred and fifty thousandths thick it accepted three good threads of quarter pipe and then a pipe three quarter pipe cap cut off and then I ran a tap through it to make sure it went all the way up and it acts as a jam nut against my pipe thread there. I've got thread sealant in between everything, no washers, no other sealing, and it nestles in there very nicely, providing about the same size opening as the vent cap. Anyway, I've thought about this for many years. Uh, a lot of times you're, like, you're worried about having something on the inside that could come loose and fall into the gear, disaster, um, could interfere with the gears depending on the type. I made sure this one would clear if I was going to put this nut on the inside. But when I tapped it, I saw that it had a really good grip. So I elected to do the jam nut on the outside. No chance of anything falling in. If you notice it's loose, you have an opportunity to tighten it up. But um, hopefully it'll be uh, a little more elegant than the mess on the front of the engine. With this engine, let's just talk about a few little developments. Um, I went with a about a, uh, ends up being almost a 300 degree duration scatter pattern race cam from MED. And as I mentioned, the timing numbers, and we'll see here, two vents, uh, this one as well as the one on the flywheel housing. We'll keep a close eye on how this works out. We always have the option to add the C-2A265, the very effective vent on the fuel pump plate if you're not using the mechanical fuel pump. All right, we've shown a little bit of this before, but uh, as you start all the bolts, you get quite a bit of play here as far as the seal centering goes. Yeah, I'm just grabbing this tab here and wobbling it around. This is a sprite cover, technically, with the tabs on the bottom, but you know, I could never see the ones over here, so I'm not bothered by it. But you can see how much movement there is. Let's see if we can show it at the bolts there as I wobble this cover around. The bolts don't terribly well locate it, so we let it, we let it float. And then we've got our cover. I'm use a little bit of the ARP lube here. Let's see, where's the keyway? Now the cover's loose. Let's see here. 
And you can see how that helps locate the cover doing the job of centering the seal, giving us the best chance of having a nice oil tight crank pulley. There we have it, some good updates.